Hello everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. I teased a few videos ago that I would do a video about how the Impusa has affected my opinions on other Bala songs. And that's what we are going to be doing today, because as I talked about in my week with the Impusa video, this thing has become one of, if not my favorite flippers. And actually that's something that we'll cover in this video, because picking a favorite Bala song from your collection is not exactly something that is easy and not something that I can say I can do, which is why I said that this is my favorite, but it's also not my favorite. First up, we're gonna talk about the most direct competition with the Medusa, my Nemesis V2. Now, why is this the most direct competition? Because this is my only other Titanium Bala song, but it also is, it has handles very reminiscent of the Impusa that are very thin uh, when you're flipping. And the balance reminds me somewhat of the Medusa, or the Impusa, with it fanning very well, but also performing rollovers and chaplains amazingly. Now, I first thought, when I first tried the Impusa, that the Nemesis would be kind of dead for me. And I am happy to report that that is not the case. This thing will be staying in my collection um, this thing remains my favorite trainer in my collection, and it has a balance that is probably one of my favorite on any Bala song ever, still. The Impusa is a fantastic flipper, but it has also helped me realize how good some of my other Bala songs are in my collection. And that is specifically owed to what I talked about in the week with the Impusa video about how the Impusa has kind of sharpened my flipping and made it a lot more clean and less sloppy, that has helped me with all of my other Bala songs, including the Nemesis, which allowed me to do the clip that I uploaded like a week ago at this point, um, where I just did a lot of cleaner stuff than I normally would, specifically that right there. This loop right here with the whip rollover, I learned... Um, on the Nemesis, but then transferred over to the Impusa pretty pretty easily. So the Nemesis is certainly not going anywhere. In fact, it's gonna help me even more because this is gonna allow me to practice tricks that I can do on my Impusa, even though that the balance is just a bit different. It doesn't really matter because the Nemesis just still, it still rocks and I kind of wish NRB never discontinued it. But, oh well. Next up. We have the Prisma. Now the Prisma I've talked about in recent videos about me being annoyed with the sharpness of the back of the blade. Don't tell me to sand it because I would rather not ruin it potentially. The Prisma is probably the thing in my collection that I would compare most to the Impusa. It has a slightly blade biased profile while still performing really, really well in rollovers and chaplains and things of that nature. I'm not gonna say it feels like a trainer Impusa because it doesn't. It's way lighter than the Impusa. It flips very differently, but it's the closest thing that I can get. And the Impusa actually has made me a better flipper with the Prisma. probably because that touch of blade bias that the Impusa has over the Medusa. Um, but the Prisma, an excellent flipper, and my opinions haven't really changed on it. It's still great. Next up is a Bala song that I thought the Impusa would definitely kill for me, the Kraken Trainer. Now the Kraken Trainer has long been criticized for its overabundance of handle bias, and I would agree to a certain extent. I do think that it is a bit too handle biased to be called a Kraken trainer, but on its own, it is a perfectly good flipping experience. And that has not changed. I figured that since the Impusa is a bit more neutral, possibly a bit more blade bias, I'm still trying to nail down the balance on the Impusa. I figured that the overly handle biased nature of the Kraken trainer would kind of be annoying to me now and I wouldn't like it as much, but as usual with the Kraken Trainer, every time I pick it up, it is a surprisingly good flipping experience, and it feels very nice in the hands. 
So the Kraken Trainer also, uh, I don't think has gone up any, any steps, but it also certainly has not gone down. Now, um, I'm not going to talk about things like the Calico or the Vulp. I will say that the cleaned up flipping, as I mentioned earlier, that I have from the Impusa has helped with the Vulp a little bit. But everything that I feel about the Calico, the Vulp, the BB Firefly V2, the Bermuda, remains unchanged from the last time that I talked about them. So finally, we have the Kraken. Because the Kraken is actually the ballast song that I have changed my opinion on the most since getting the Impusa. Now, that's not a bad thing. I will always love the Kraken. It is a fantastic flipper, certainly deserving of its place on the throne of the mid-range ballast songs. But as I sort of alluded to in the um, Impusa video, there's just something about the Kraken that just feels ever so slightly off. And when I say ever so slightly, I mean ever so slightly. It doesn't flow as well as the Impusa does, probably because the little bit of handle bias that the Bowie Blade has. But it is still an incredible, incredible experience that I'm very proud to own in my collection. I will say, though, the one thing that the Impusa has made me realize, a lot of people complain about the Kraken because it feels boring or like too normal. It's like too standard. And I feel that now. While this is still a flipping experience that I love and certainly won't be going anywhere anytime soon, it's also a flipping experience that I can kind of see. It doesn't have anything about it that's like crazy. Like the Impusa has that little something. The Prisma has that little something. Hell, the Arctic has that little something. And don't worry, the Arctic is still an amazing flipper that I absolutely love. My opinions have not changed on that thing. But the Kraken, I'm beginning to feel that standard kind of... Not bored. I'm certainly not bored of it because I still love flipping this thing and it's still such a quality experience that I could never call it boring. But I definitely understand people who say that it's just a bit too standard to fit their tastes a little bit more now. Specifically Ty. Ty always used to say, man, I love the Kraken, but it's just like, it doesn't have like that, that special factor to it. And I never really understood because I was always like, oh, the Kraken's amazing. What do you mean? But now I finally do. Because while this is still probably one of the best flipping ballast songs in my collection, it's just missing that little something that something like the Nemesis and the Impusa have because it is the standard. And that is not to say anything bad about the Kraken, because it is still my top three. And speaking of top three, that is why I couldn't make a decision. I couldn't say whether the Impusa was my new favorite Balasong. Because on some days, it is. Some days I pick it up and it's my favorite thing in my collection, hands down. Other days, I pick up my Nemesis, and that's my favorite thing in my collection. There's so much difference in each of these three ballast songs that it is impossible to pick a favorite. And they are all so stellar in their own special ways that it almost feels un unfair to compare them to each other. So to say, is the Impusa your favorite would be a disservice to not only the Impusa, but also to the other things that I love in my collection. Because these three are the definite top three in my collection. I never have a bad moment with either of these three. I never have a thought of, oh, maybe I should sell this one day. It is, they're all stellar in their own ways. So saying that one of them is my favorite over the others is just not possible. So here is my top three in no particular order because any day it could change depending on how I'm feeling. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.